made me the cutest um, market stand. And I cannot tell you how great it has been going in my little community here. I try to make sure that the prices are lower than what they are at the store. So I always check my prices every week. And, uh, you know, we're organic farmers, so we don't spray or use chemicals on our, on our produce or anything like that. And uh, we try to find natural ways of doing things. And I think people really appreciate that, that they can come every weekend and get fresh produce that's organic, locally grown, sustainably grown, and uh, less expensive than what they would pay at the grocery store. So market day is tomorrow and Sunday, and the Friday before is always my craziest day because I'm tying up loose ends and I'm getting things ready for tomorrow, pricing things, washing things, bagging things, making things. So I thought you guys would maybe want to join me for the day. And uh, you can see what goes into owning your own business, even if it's just a little market stand. So let's go. The first thing I'm going to do is any jelly that I've made this week, I need to put labels on. And I always save one little jar for myself because if it's not good enough for us, it's not good enough for you. And this week I made watermelon jelly. And I can tell you right now, I'm already very happy with the consistency of this. It's not runny. It's a beautiful pink color. Now let's give it a taste. So I always make a little jar for us so I can make sure before I put it out there that it's what I'd be proud of. Mmm. Watermelon. <laughs> you might want to eat it straight out of the jar. And that is so good on like cucumber sandwiches, crackers, uh, salami. You can put it on biscuits, whatever kind of bread you like. If you're a watermelon lover, you're going to love that. So the first thing I have to do is to take my rings off and make sure that these have all sealed. Anything that hasn't sealed is a goner. <laughs> and then I always take a little bit of Windex. Because presentation is everything, and you want your produce, your jams, your jellies, your breads, everything to look clean and delicious. So I wipe these off a little bit. You want to be proud of what you have out there. You want people to come back and to start talking about what you have and, you know, how much they enjoy it. So I'm just wiping around the outside here, making sure I don't have any jelly that's seeped out. And that in the sunshine, these are going to be pretty and shiny. Then I'm going to take my labels here. And I just lightly set those on the top. Go all the way around, take my uh, bands and put them back on. Every weekend, I put out about 25 half pints of jam. And every weekend, I'm lucky if I come in the house at the end of Sunday evening with one <laughs> jar left. <laughs> I can't tell you just what a blessing that is to me. Um, it, it just makes me feel so good, like I'm really doing something for the community that they enjoy. And so I am completely out of strawberry jam, and it's super, super easy to make, so I'm going to whip some up here. Now, I am also very blessed with the job I have because in the summertime, we get our Fridays off, so... Uh, that's just for a couple months in the summer, and we change our hours up a little bit, but it all still evens out to where we're working a 40-hour week um, at the end of the year. And 
Uh, also, too, I'm, I've been there long enough for many years that I acquire a lot of vacation time that I have to use by the end of the fiscal year or I lose it. And uh, so when the time comes that we're back at work and we're not real busy, if I need a Friday off for the farm stand, I can take a vacation day. So I'm very, very blessed there. And then through the week, uh, I do my picking out in the garden. If you drive by, you're going to see me out there with the chickens. Uh, and we are picking our, our produce or pulling weeds or tying things up. And on my lunch hours, you'll find me in here typically making jam. So it's just worked out really well with my job. I'm really blessed. So I'm just going to keep these uh, washed nicely and trim off the tops. Now, my strawberries are doing great outside, but I still haven't uh, developed a crop yet that's enough to, you know, make my own homemade strawberry jam with what I've grown. I think that'll be next year because things are spreading and producing like crazy, but still not... Uh, producing enough at the same time that, that I can focus solely on those. Because I tell you, the price of strawberries is high. This time of year, it's kind of good uh, because they're in season, there's a lot of them, so the price isn't that bad, and occasionally they have them on sale. But if you try to get them in the winter time, it's ridiculous how much they cost. And I'm also getting tired of going and buying them uh, on let's say a Tuesday and then by Thursday they've already got mold growing on them and I can't even use them I have to throw them out um, and that's because they leave them out on the stands by the front door I have brought this to their attention several times <laughs> by the front door where the heat and humidity comes in and then when the door is shut you have the air conditioner on so they can't uh, maintain a steady temperature and people open up the containers and close them and, you know, it just goes on all day. So uh, they cannot maintain a steady temperature and that's where you get the mold from. And it is very humid out today. It's not so much hot as it is humid. And the girls love a cold treat. And strawberry tops are full of vitamins that the chickens just love. And they love the little greens too. So I'm going to put these in the freezer just for a couple hours, and then we'll take those out to the girls. We are almost to the gel stage, which is 220. Don't know. <laughs> you probably won't be able to see because of the steam, but it's cooking away. I've got my jars over here getting ready to heat up. I'm sorry about the steam. And then we'll get those uh, jarred up and on to the next project. And of course, I have to taste it when it's done. Strawberry is the best. Blueberry is my favorite, though. Okay, you guys, this is why I'm such a fatty McFatterton. Check this out. These are the ones I made this week. So I have strawberry, apple butter, cherry, Mountain Dew, watermelon, and I already ate the blueberry. So those are for me. <laughs> those are for my family because it's like I said, I got to taste it first. I'm not going to put it out there if it's no good. And I have to make sure it's set too. So one more bite. I, I promise I'll quit. Mm -mm -mm. Right there, I've got them cooking. 10 minutes on a rolling boil, turn it off, five minutes to set to keep things from seeping off the top. I'm gonna put lids on my taste testers and go feed the chickens. I have got the world's most spoiled chickens. They get hugs and kisses every day. They get their coop here raked and cleaned out every morning fresh water, fresh food, and they always get 
a treat in the afternoon and then they get a uh, some mealworms in the evening before they go to bed <laughs> they have got the life and they still have the nerve to peck my feet I mean, come on, don't bite the hand that feeds you, or the foot. Just took the strawberry jam out of the canner. I've had one pop already. And uh, I always wash my canning jars that I put flowers in at my stand, so they're in the dishwasher while these are cooling. And now I'm going on to make some plum jam. I have these beautiful plums on sale this week. I wish I knew someone with a plum tree, but I don't. So I got some for us and I'm gonna make some jam. And I'm not gonna go through this step by step like I usually do because I might do it later, but today I have got too much to do. But what I'm working on now is I'm just cutting the, the fruit part away from the pit and I'm going to dice it up and put it in the blender. most popular items is zucchini bread and in here I've got a loaf of walnut zucchini bread and a loaf of regular and then over here I've got four loaves of chocolate chocolate chip which is really popular so today's been a baking day my son is in charge of the corn of the sweet corn for Rittenhouse Farms. And this is his plot at our house. And he has a plot at his house as well. And I tell you, when he decided he wanted to grow corn, he did a lot of investigating to find the sweetest and the most delicious corn available. And it's not a line I extra sweet. And that's grown a lot here in the Midwest. And I can't tell you what it is because it's a family secret that you are gonna love it. And when we have it for sale, you better come and get it because it sells fast. And it's about quarter to eight. And I am gonna come out here and pick some green beans. <laughs> Cordell is over there just raising heck because I came out. So he probably thinks I'm gonna give him a treat, but I gotta get these beans picked before tomorrow. And I know I have quite a few. Oh, yes I do. And I don't like to pick them until the night before because then they're not fresh. So I better get going. It is six o'clock in the morning and I'm going to wash and separate these green beans and get things ready for the stand this morning. Look at the size of these sweet potatoes. <laughs> They're huge. I have three more buckets of these even outside. I've been washing them and these are the loose potatoes and these are the cute little bucket buckets of potatoes just for something fun. So it is 7.30 in the morning and I'm starting to get everything loaded up. This is a hard job. <laughs> getting everything sorted and loaded. But um, I wanted to have all of my jams, you know, in order so people didn't have to dig for them. These are all the spices that I dehydrated and some popcorn. I have some gourds here that haven't complete, well, they haven't even started some of them to dry out. This one's a good one. But, um, you know, if people want to uh, let them dry out and use them for crafts or decoration or birdhouses or whatever they want, they're cheap. 
<laughs> and I kept some a bunch out for myself because I want to craft with those this winter. But uh, we're starting loading. Thank you. 